Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vishnu Singh. I am working as a senior lecturer in IIMP College of Polytechnic, Greater Noida. Today, the topic that we will be discussing are what are the cutting tool materials that are used in a CNC machine, what type of coatings is provided on the cutting tool, and what are the various types of cutting tools that are used in a CNC machine. So let's move forward. A cutting tool is a device used to remove material from a solid block. It is fitted to the spindle of a CNC machine, which follows computer instructions to guide the cutting tool where it needs to go. The sharp tool rotates at high speed and cuts from the workpiece. Many tiny chips are then ejected away from the workpiece. What are the now? Let's see what are the cutting tool materials which are used. In order to cut through the solid workpiece, cutting tools must be made from a harder material than the workpiece material. And since CNC machining is regularly used to create parts from very hard materials, this limits the number of available cutting tool materials. Now, common cutting tool materials which are used are firstly carbon steel. This is the most inexpensive material of the bunch and includes a total of 0.6 to 1.5% of carbon with small amount of manganese and silicon. You will typically find this material used for low speed operations in twist drill, forming tools, milling cutters and turning. Next is the high speed steel. This material combines chromium, tungsten and molybdenum to give HSS improved hardness, toughness and wear resistance over carbon steel. HSS tools are generally more expensive than others, but they are built to last and provide a higher material removal rate for both ferrous and non-ferrous materials. Then comes solid carbide. This material is more resistant to wear than HSS and prone to chipping instead of wearing out evenly over time, usually sintered with another metal like titanium, tungsten or tantalum carbide tools are wear resistant and heat resistant, thus providing an excellent surface finish. Next material which is being used is ceramics. Ceramics are corrosion resistant and made from aluminum oxide and silicon nitride. They are heat and wear resistant means they can function in high heat cutting environment where other tools would not. These tools are typically ideal for cast iron, hard steel and super alloys. Next is the boron nitride. It has high wear resistance and it is used for machining hardened steel and high temperature alloys. Now let's see what are the various types of coating which we can provide on the cutting tool to improve its performance. The function of a cutting tool depends on its shape and material but can also be adjusted with a coating over the main material. These coatings can make tools harder, increase their lifespan or enable them to cut at faster speed without compromising the part. Common cutting tool coatings include firstly titanium nitride. Titanium nitride is a general purpose coating that increases the hardness of a cutting tool. Next is the titanium carbonitride. Titanium carbonitride adds surface lubricity and hardness to a cutting tool. Next is aluminium titanium nitride. It adds heat resistance to carbide cutting tools, especially when minimal coolant is employed. Next is the diamond. Diamond provides a high performance coating for cutting abrasive materials. And last type of coating which we can employ on our cutting tool is chromium nitride. Chromium nitride adds corrosion resistance and hardness to cutting tool. Normally for a cutting tool to be effective, it should be 30 to 50% harder than the material it will work on. It should be easily fabricated. It should have high thermal conductivity, should have low coefficient of friction and it should be very resistant to wear. 
Now let's see what are the cutting tools now which are being used in a CNC machine. Firstly is an end mill. End mill is the most widely used tool for vertical CNC machining. With cutting teeth at one end and on the sides, end mill can remove large amount of material in a short space of time. Now, what are the applications of end mill? Firstly, side milling. It is used for machining and edge surface. Face milling used for machining the top face of a part. Then comes the slot milling. It is used for machining between two edge surfaces. Then comes the plunge milling used for machining along the z-axis which requires a center cutting end mill. And last, uh, last use of the end mill is ramping used for simultaneously machining in the radial and axial direction resulting in an angular tool path. Ramping tool paths can be circular or linear. Next tool which is used in a CNC machine is face mill. A face mill is a solid body that holds multiple carbide inserts that can be replaced as they wear out. The more inserts we will put the faster the metal removal rate we will get. This is typically done on the top of the stock to flatten it before other milling tools are used. Since the cutting edges of the face mill are found on its sides, cutting must be done horizontally. Next tool is the fly cutter. The fly cutter comprises one or two tool bits contained within a solid body. The tool bits of a fly cutter makes broad, shallow cuts producing a smooth surface finish. It is more common to find fly cutters with one tool bit, but those with two tool bits are sometimes known as fly bars. They provide a larger swing. Uh, fly cutters are generally less expensive than face mills, but then fly cutters can be used for similar purposes. Next tool which is being used is tabs and thread mill. Tabs are used to cut internal threads in a material. However, not all the threads are made with a cutting process. Roll form tabs are forced into a hole and the material is then formed around the tab. This works great for softer materials like aluminium, copper, brass and plastics. Thread mills are similar but can, get, can cut either internal or external threads. Next tool which is being used in a CNC machine is drill bit. Drill bit used in a CNC machining include twist drill, center drill and ejector drill. Next tool is, is reamer. Reamers are used to widen existing holes in the workpiece providing an exact hole diameter and an excellent surface finish. Reamers can create hole with much tighter tolerances than other cutting tools. Reamers require a pre-drilled hole that is close enough in size so it only has to remove a small amount of material. Next is the gear cutter tool. CNC mills are sometimes used to create metal gears for manufacturing industry. Specific gear cutting tools can be used to make these gears. Cutting gears sometimes require a special kind of milling machine known as a hopping machine. Now let's see what are the various types of tool holders which are employed in a CNC machine. Tool holders are used to adapt tools of different shape and sizes accurately and securely to a CNC machine spindle. First is the solid end mill holder. A solid end mill holder consists of a precision board hole and a set screw. An end mill that has a shank with a well done flat is slid into the holder and then secured by the set screw from the side. The set screw clamps down the Weldon flat, providing a strong grip with a slight loss in concentricity. Solid end mill holders 
are often preferred for roughing and heavy duty milling because of their secure holding ability next is the er collet chuck a collet is a sub type of chuck that forms a collar around an object to be held and exerts a strong clamping force on the object when it is tightened usually by means of a tapered outer collar it may be used to hold a workpiece or a tool er collets can hold many different sizes and types of tool while they are known for their versatility they are less secure than hydraulic shrink fit and end mill holders next is the drill chuck so obviously as the name suggests we use this type of chuck for holding drill bits the drill chuck provides a convenient holder for general hole drilling jobs that make switching between drill bits simple you can also use a collet chuck as a replacement for drill chucks and lastly are the lastly tool holder is hydraulic holders the these are specialty holders for high speed application hydraulic holders uses fluid to center and compress the tool with uniform pressure now let's see our next topic is automatic tool changer an automatic tool changer or in short form atc is used in a computerized numerical control machine that is cnc machine to improve the production and tool carrying capacity of the machine atc it ch changes the tool very quickly reducing the non productive time in a cnc machine tools are changed through program of instructions the tools are fitted in a tool magazine or drum as we can see from the diagram as well when a tool needs to be changed the drum rotates to an empty position approaches the old tool and pulls it then it again rotates to the position the new tool fits it and then retracts this is a typical tool changing sequence of an automatic tool changer the main parts of an automatic tool changer are the base the gripper arm the tool holder the support arm and the tool magazines next is the tool magazine so obviously in an atc tool magazines are used to store the various types of tools now let's see what are the various types of configuration that we can provide in the tool magazine tool magazine are generally found on a drilling and milling machines when compared to tool turrets the tool magazine can hold more number of tools and also more and they also uh, are are and they are also regard more problems regarding the tool management duplication of the tool is possible and a new tool of same type may be selected whenever a particular tool has been worn off so we can use same number of multiple tools in the tool magazine as well now these are some of the various types of configurations that we can use for the tool magazine firstly is a chain magazine these magazines can hold large number of tools and may hold even up to 100 tools but obviously one thing that we do have to consider is the higher the number of tools that we will employ in the tool magazine the more the power it will require for its movement so we have to ensure that not many tools are uh, kept in the tool magazine otherwise higher amount of power will be required to operate it in these chain magazines tool will be identified either by their location in the tool holder or by means of some uh, by means of the some checks or codes now these are the various configurations of tool magazine we can uh, configure our tool magazine like this as well or as shown in the figure as the tool magazine third as well next comes the box magazine in these magazines the tool are stored in open ended compartments the box magazines are of limited use as compared to circular and 
chain type of tool magazine now it has limited use because the the tools that we can hold in a box magazine they have to be generally are they are generally in small in size that we can fit in our box magazine so it has basically it has a limited functionality then next comes is the circular magazine circular magazine it is similar to the tool turret but in the former the tool will be transferred from the magazine to the spindle nose so uh, these are the topics that we discussed so now let's revise what were the topics that we have seen today firstly we discussed what are the various types of coating that can be provided on the cutting tool uh, the material which were provided the material which can, we can use uh, to be used as a coating on our cutting tool were firstly is the titanium nitride next material that we see uh, that we saw was titanium carbonitride then aluminium titanium nitride fourth was the diamond and last was the chromium nitride then the various types of cutting tool that are being used in a cnc machine first was the end mill now the end mill had various applications it it is being used in the side milling operation in the face milling operation in the slot milling uh, plunge milling and ramping so basically all these five functions we can perform with the help of our end mill tool that is uh, that that is being used in a cnc machine Next, the next tool that is being used is face mill. Then we saw ply cutters. Uh, next comes the taps and thread mills. Then comes the drill bit, uh, reamers. Reamers are used uh, to exist to widen the existing hole that we have that we have already created in the workpiece. And last was the gear cutter. Gear cut. We can uh, we can produce gears with the help of gear cutting tool as well. Then we saw what were the various types of tool holders that are used in a CNC machine. One was the solid end mill holder. Uh, next was the collet chuck. In the collet chuck, uh, we can fit various uh, dimensions of the tool uh, in the collet chuck. Uh, next was the drill chuck. Obviously, it is used to hold the drill bit. And next was the hydraulic holders. In the hydraulic holders, we use the pressure of a fluid to hold our tool securely. Then came the ATC. Automatic tool changers are used in a CNC machine to ultimately to improve the productivity because uh, in minimum time we can change our tool. So we can change our tools. And lastly, what we saw in the in today's slide was what are the cutting tool materials that were being used. One was the carbon steel, then second was the high speed steel, then solid carbide, ceramics and boron nitride. So basically which material we will be using to manufacture our cutting tool depends upon where our, cut where our material that we are manufacturing or where our material will be used. We have to evaluate that and then we will decide which material we should use for our cutting tool. So I hope. Uh, all of you must have uh, liked today's video uh, in the next slide uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing about uh, what are the various g and m codes which are used to operate a cnc machine like g00 g01 g02 these are the various codes which are used in a cnc machine and uh, how to how how we, how we have to write the program uh, so that we can manufacture our product so all these things we will discuss in our uh, next video. So for today, uh, it's thank you from my side.